They know we in the last day. That's how it is. They fornicate over AIDS. That's how it is. Lust and lasciviousness. That's how it is. They still in their bucks and they trust in the AKs. Concerned about their soul? No, that's how it is. Money, cars, and clothes. Yup, that's how it is. Good player status. Don't want something automatic and they hungry for death. Nothing less than 24s. They want to see the lady jean, but it's her body that's in. Burn, burn, count that money, baby. Swallow and gin. Have it focus on the media. Follow the trend. Seem like you're winning, but you're falling. Falling, yup, that's how it is. I'ma tell it real, that is how I live. Why they still ain't propelling kids with real life? How they feel ain't changed. It ain't it. changed. I know it. they might be offended, but I ain't playing. Oh, I ain't playing. We gotta spin it wrong these days. That's how. It now this guy was uh, older than us, physically bigger than us, and uh, my my best friend and I, and he was involved with my best friend's mom, and he was physically abusive. And um, just begin to basically verbally threaten anybody that would stand in the way. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, my name was included in one of those threats. And so it got back to me and we bumped into each other a few times. Uh, here or there, had some words, um, things like that. And uh, he was basically, it became clear to me that he was comfortable intimidating us. And uh, I just thank God, because that, that could have happened so, so many different things could have happened. It could have played out so many different ways, all negative. Um, but I had basically made up my mind that I'm done with this intimidation. I'm done, um, you know, uh, allowing this to go on. So that was that was my response. So I'm riding the bike uh, around the neighborhood just like normal, regular day, you know, doing my thing, smoking, drinking, on the block, just doing doing me, you know, and um, all of a sudden, this voice starts speaking. I know speaking. you by name. You have found grace in my sight. My presence will go with you. The fact that and God is all-powerful would be too frightening to said. embrace. I beseech you, were he not also show me full of love glory. and tender mercy. God said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before you. God's hand reveals his name gracious, and show mercy on whom From the I will show mercy. Platypus. You cannot see my face, for no one to the roar shall of the lion and live. I mean audibly, speaking to me. <laughs> And, uh, you know, the voice said, basically, what does it mean to live? Um, and I, I responded audibly. I'm riding my bicycle by myself. And uh, I respond, you know, you know, I'll be able to do what I want to do, you know, go where I want to go. Nobody be able to tell me nothing, all that kind of thing. And uh, he basically said, well, if you live opposite of the way that I want you to live, really you're living backwards, then he prompted me to spell it backwards. And I did. And that's, that's evil, right? So I'm like, wow, you know, he had my attention. And he proceeded to ask me, um, you know, to spell lived, past tense. I did, spelled it out loud, L-I-V-E-D. He said, well, if you get all those things that you said, if you get the money, you get the women, you go wherever you want to go, you get all those things. Um, but you got them opposite of the way I wanted you to get them. What did you really get? He told me to spell lived backwards. If you spell it backwards, that's D-E-V-I-L. And that was my introduction. That's how, that was my first encounter with the Holy Spirit. Um, and so I thank God for that because that was an unconventional uh, meeting, but it helped me to not have a religious view, I could say that, but a real view. The Holy Spirit is real. You're signing this bitch. We ready to put it down. Yeah, you're signing. Oh, y'all. Puts it down, baby. So, I didn't get into uh, rapping um, by doing gospel rap. Uh, in like 94, I started playing around with words, realized I was gifted uh, with wordplay. We put it down, we put it down, we put it down, nigga. We put it down, we put it down, we put it down, nigga. We put it down, we put it down, we put it down, nigga. 
control the song mode as I proceed to taste the world rehearse my vocals. I'm desperate for cheese and they facing death pressure. And uh, we had another group in Palm Beach called Drastic Measures, but then I went to Thune Cookman, went to college. And I uh, was still rapping and was invited to this party, went to this party, and there was some guys there in the middle of the party, they doing battle rapping, they battle rapping each other, nobody knows me there. And then, um, you know, this guy just starts focusing on me, he's like coming at me hard. Battling me kind of thing, like I'm not saying anything. So uh, nobody knew me there at the party. I kind of shut them down with my response. And then uh, the guy who was holding, the, I mean hosting the party, uh, his name was Dallas. He approached me after and was like, "Man, you know, let's start this group. Let's do this." And we named it Illshine. And he's from Chicago, Illinois, and I'm from Florida, the Sunshine State. Uh, so we named it Illshine. And um, you know, it took off. It took off. We started, you know, just meeting up, uh, writing down stuff, smoking, drinking, you know, getting high, talking about what we can do. And those, uh, you know, were formed into songs. And uh, two of the songs, they became, you know, local favorites. And uh, we won a vibe showcase, opened up for Goody Mob, and uh, we were doing it. We thought we was going to go because uh, people were interested in it. And we love doing the music, we love the lifestyle. Ill shot. So I'm leaving my girlfriend's house, then my girlfriend, now she's my wife. So I'm leaving her house, going back to my house in Daytona. It's like a 45 minute drive. So I'm uh, realizing that, man, I'm getting real sleepy. So I started dozing off, you know, like caught myself going to sleep, like, man, you know, like, man, I need to pull over. So uh, I was looking at the next rest stop. Then I was gonna pull over, but then I dozed off again, scared myself, start overcorrecting, like, oh, 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 you know. The uh, car's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like that. And I just hit the brakes. <laughs> Slipped like the uh, highway patrolman said it was 100 feet. Just slammed into a tree on I-95, you know, ended up. Got 15 staples in my head. Uh, I said my, my clavicle, my collarbone was broken, fractured. Uh, had a little bone sticking out of my chest. It's like hard to breathe, you know, and uh, they basically came and uh, took me to the hospital. And I uh, wanted to do the CAT scans because they were basically saying that, you know, the CAT scans didn't match uh, my injuries. Whenever someone's head is open to that degree, she have severe migraines and stuff like that, but I had none of those. But he was telling me I was going to have problems uh, moving anything on the left side of my body. And uh, so it was just really the grace of God. It took me about six months, six month period, healing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it's pretty much the car wreck. I could have lost my life. There was another way I could have lost my life. So after this accident, um, it was life changing for me, like earth shattering. I had to quit my job, uh, both my jobs in Daytona. I had to move out of my apartment, move back to Palm Beach, move into my mom's house again. You know, I was basically uh, done, couldn't do anything lay on the couch and heal, you know. But during that time, uh, I started writing, writing, just writing thoughts that I had down. But the word warrior just kept coming to my mind. Just, you know, not like, you know, hour after hour, but like, you know, a few days go by, writing this and writing that warrior. I kept hearing that. And, um, you know, during this time, six months, I was there uh, healing. And um, since my expectation was I was going to be limited on my left side, you know, uh, that's what I prepared for. But as things begin to work out, you know, I, I got the words fasted for my first time during that period. Uh, begin to digest the word, really thanking and praising God that I was alive and been able to move on uh, the left side of my body. But I got the words that would prove to be my first gospel song entitled Warrior. I'm a warrior. All oh, praise to the Father, praise to the King. I recognize my life on the string, but I'm a warrior. Can't nothing confront me, no demon can haunt me. Isaiah 54, 17, make me a warrior. Is that enough for me though? Oh no, glory to glory, man. I stay looking for me some more warriors. Is you feeling me, Captain? Or you think I'm just rapping, stuck on that drink, missing what's happening? I'm a warrior. 
So through a series of events, uh, through evangelizing, I met up with three other guys who also had a heart for evangelizing, and through a series of events, we came together and formed what we call Surrender All Entertainment, where basically we would challenge uh, people in the gospel arena or the rap industry uh, to basically surrender their entire lives and we'll use rap music, use gifts and talents in the rap music um, to challenge them. And so that ended up being very successful. We were doing promotions, and concerts, and uh, outreaches, and uh, evangelism, going out to downtown clubs at night. You know, people were saying that our work was not really of God because we're going into, into secular places doing the work of the ministry. Um, but that was awesome, surrender all entertainment. And then, uh, you know, I stayed with that thought, stayed with that mission, and um, I found out that the same power that works in the church also works in the street. You know, it's the same power. It's not confined to four walls. And then um, it led me to going inside of churches and uh, being prompted to pray. Found out I had a, a, a gift to pray. Lord God, I expect you now, oh God, to honor this dear Lord God in the name of Jesus just because you said you would. You said what I do by faith you make perfect. Lord God, let children today. Children, dear Lord God, children in Singapore, children in Somalia, children in China, children in Egypt, children in Palm Bay, children in New York, children all around. Lord God, let your strength be made manifest out of the mouths of babes and sufferings oh, to steal the enemy in the name of Jesus. Do it, Lord God, and we declare that the zeal of the Lord will perform this thing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, say in Jesus' name. So, I put on Facebook uh, that I felt led for people to join me in the prayer. And uh, a few months later, several months later, a friend of mine texts me back and say, oh, I forgot to tell you, I joined in the prayer. And I was going for uh, going to the doctor for uh, cancer in the throat. And esophagus healed. Esophagus healed. My mom, she was going to the doctor. And she had uh, blood diabetes, sugar, sugar diabetes. Uh, and her counts came back to normal um, as a result of joining with the prayer. Um, so she activated her faith. And I'm saying that that's what I think we need to do uh, as Christ followers. We need to go. We need to get mobile. It's time to go. You know, it's time to make it active. The Bible says that the kingdom of God is not in word or in speech. It's, it's, it's in power and in demonstration. Let's go. As a matter of fact, I went. I felt led to go to, a, to the hospital, people that I didn't even know. And I went to the hospital. And as I was there, the power came on me. I just prayed and said what, what the Spirit said. And as a result of me going, she came off of life support that day. The girl came off life support that day, been on life support for over two weeks. But because I went, she came off life support that day. Let's go. 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 Give me the truth. 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 As long as they hope that tip, you don't care if they so rich. You gon' want that shit like the dog in the bone man. You know I'm prone to set it off on it, don't check it. So-called real keep up that foe in a second when the battle gets hot. You gotta be rooted in the world if you're voting it brings you to the curb. Okay.